15 things you didn't know about Vacheron Constantin. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and thank you for joining us for another fantastic video. Our key goal here at Alux is to give you information and knowledge about all of the biggest and best things in the world, all of the locations, brands, celebrities and companies that make up the everyday dealings of the lives of the truly elite. Throughout elite society, one thing that has always been the symbol of high status and luxury living is the possession of a high quality designer wristwatch. Having the preoccupation with presenting you facts about the very best, today sees the turn of one of the leading watch manufacturers in the world, Vacheron Constantin. Founded in 1755, Vacheron Constantin is a luxury Swiss watch manufacturer specializing in prestige timepieces that are seen as some of the biggest shows of wealth and status in both the worlds of celebrity and high society. As an active member of the Federation of the Swiss Watch Industry, Vacheron Constantin's commitment to excellence is something that we here at Alux really admire. And for that reason, we think they deserve the full fact treatment. Without further ado, here are 15 things you didn't know about Vacheron Constantin. Number 1. A long list of high-profile leaders, celebrities, and VIPs wear Vacheron Constantin watches. When it comes to the popularity and status of a product, you can often judge by the number of famous and high-profile fans it has. And it would be fair to say that Vacheron Constantin truly sets itself apart with its history of high-profile watch wearers. Among the brand's most famous fans are the likes of Napoleon Bonaparte, King Edward VIII, Pope Pius XI, and former President of the United States, Harry Truman. In more modern times, Vacheron Constantin has been one of the favored brands of rap superstar Jay-Z, proving that watches still have 21st century appeal and that quality never truly goes out of style. Number 2. The company is one of the holy trinity of watchmakers. Vacheron Constantin wristwatches are held in such high esteem in the world of timepiece manufacturers that it is one of the brands that come together to make the holy trinity. Alongside fellow luxury manufacturers Patek Philippe and Audemars Piguet, Vacheron Constantin's focus on hand finishing and using precious metals in their products sets them apart from other watch giants like Rolex and Omega. If you truly want to be considered a connoisseur of the luxury watch world, then your aim should be to own at least one timepiece from each of the Holy Trinity manufacturers. Number 3. It uses the Maltese cross as its emblem. Ever since 1880, Vacheron Constantin has used the eight-pointed Maltese cross as its identifying symbol and logo. Many who aren't well versed in the history of the brand might be mistaken in thinking the brand has particular ties to the country of Malta, but the truth is that the company chose the cross for purely aesthetic reasons. The distinct eight-point shape of the symbol bears a strong resemblance to the cross shape of the component barrel used to make the watches, and it is for this reason the Maltese cross became synonymous with luxury watchmakers. Number 4. A Vacheron Constantin watch was used as a Fabergé egg surprise. In 2012, a Fabergé egg was discovered that included a lady's Vacheron Constantin timepiece as its surprise. Assembled in 1887 and identified to be the third imperial egg, the original customer was Alexander III, who ordered the amazing gift for a Danish princess, Maria Fyodorovna. The watch itself had a white enamel dial and an open-work diamond-set gold hands. Three years before it was recovered, an article in British newspaper The Telegraph valued the then-missing egg to be worth £20 million, or $25.6 million. Number 5. The Callista is one of the world's most expensive watches. In 1979, Vacheron Constantin created the Callista watch, regarded as being one of the most expensive watches in the world. Upon release, the retail price for the exquisite wristwatch was $5 million, but today, that value has more than doubled with an estimated worth of more than $11 million on the auction market. Why was this watch so expensive compared to the others, we hear you ask? Well, 
It could well be to do with the fact that the Callista watch contains 118 emerald cut diamonds, along with the sheer amount of work that it took to build it. It is said that the watch took 6,000 hours to make from start to finish, with 20 months added on for jewelers to enrich it. That's what we call attention to detail. Number 6. Vacheron Constantin produces 20,000 watches a year. A large part of the mystique and desirable nature of Vacheron Constantin watches is that compared to other luxury watchmakers, their production output is incredibly low. With only 20,000 new watches being produced every year, the race to own a brand new Vacheron watch is fast and chaotic. Their rarity also means that prices get staggeringly elevated at auction houses, where pre-owned wristwatches become even more desirable. Number 7. They didn't introduce women's watches until 2003. Historically, a brand that focused on wristwatches for men, Vacheron Constantin finally caught up with the times in 2003 with the introduction of its line called Ijari. What was so special about this particular collection? It was the first time in the brand's long history to include designs specifically for women, answering those voices in the watchmaking community that criticized Vacheron for taking such a long time to design for both sexes. Number 8. They created a 250th anniversary watch. In 2005, to mark the 250th anniversary of the creation of the brand, Vacheron Constantin produced a special wristwatch to showcase their very best work and the advancement and journey that their designers had been through during that time. Named the Tour de Ile, the watch included an unbelievable 834 parts and 16 horological complications. If you wanted to purchase this stunning timepiece, you had to travel to Geneva, as it was the only place where it was available to buy. And how much would this anniversary timepiece set you back? A cool $1 million. Number 9. The 2060th anniversary watch was even more expensive than the 250th anniversary model. Determined to make an even bigger splash for their 260th anniversary, in 2015, Vacheron Constantin unveiled the amazing reference 57260, the world's most complicated mechanical watch. The watch took three watchmakers a total of eight years to build, with 57 complications requested by a valued client. Though Vacheron refused to disclose the exact price of the reference 57260, they did confirm that the cost was somewhere between $8 and $20 million, making it one of the most expensive watches to have ever been created. Number 10. They are dedicated to diamonds. When it comes to bling, it would be fair to say that Vacheron Constantin were ahead of the game, bedazzling many of their creations before that word had even come into public knowledge. The company are not afraid to give customers the most extravagantly diamond-studded timepieces with patrimony, traditionnel, malte and eur creative collections in particular offering diamond-covered options. Proud of their reputation for these shining stones, Vacheron Constantin are dedicated to making sure the diamonds that they use in their timepieces are acquired in accordance with the World Diamond Council. To learn more facts about fabulous diamonds, Check out our video by clicking on the top right hand corner when you're ready. Number 11. They created a collection based on masks. Constantly looking for ways to make their new collection special, in 2007, Vacheron Constantin collaborated with a private museum and picked 12 different primitive art masks to be used in some special edition watches. Named the Métier de Art Le Masques collection, each watch style featured a miniaturized mask. The collection proved to be one of the best examples in recent years of art mixing with watchmaking. Number 12. A 2012 collection was inspired by Dutch artist Moritz Cornelis Escher. Another successful and unique special line came in 2012 when Vacheron Constantin released the Meter de A Le Univers Infini collection. This particular collection was inspired by the Dutch artist Moritz Cornelis Escher, with each watch featuring a degree of tessellation, a design that incorporates identical shapes that interlock. Once again, this was an extremely popular collection, and pieces featuring the tessellation design are known to fetch handsome prices at auction houses all over the world. Number 13. They created the Vacheron Constantin Institute in 2011. 
with the aim to continue the incredibly high standards in design and craftsmanship that the brand has come to be known for over the centuries. In 2011, Vacheron Constantin opened its own institute for human capital and crafts development. This is an organization that focuses on taking the brand into the future and being at the forefront of advancement, while at the same time, keeping the high traditional standards and values under which the brand was formed. The Institute is responsible for all the company's educational employee training, ensuring that incredibly high standards are always met. Number 14. The company carries the hallmark of Geneva. In 1901, the very first Vacheron Constantin caliber watch received the Hallmark of Geneva. The Hallmark of Geneva is a certification of quality that was created in 1886 by the Geneva Parliament, which at the time was intended to secure and preserve the skills of the city's talented watchmakers. Vacheron Constantin still holds that hallmark to this day, and it has come to be regarded as the mark of absolute watchmaking excellence in all areas from provenance, endurance, quality, and accuracy. Number 15. There's a special watch just for the American market. In 1921, Vacheron Constantin created a watch that was specifically designed to be a success in the American market. In an attempt to match the unconventional youthful feel of the period, the watch had a much less traditional look and broke from classic design traditions. The model was reincarnated in 2008, when the Historique American 21 was created to pay homage to the original mold breaker some 90 years before. Thank you for joining us for this fascinating deep dive into the world of Vacheron Constantin. Do you have your very own Vacheron watch? Are you a fan of a particular collection from over the years? Let us know down in the comments. And here's one more bonus fact for those of you who are kind enough to stay right with us till the end. Number 16. They created a special watch for King Farouk. In 1946, Vacheron Constantin were tasked with the honor of creating one of their most complicated watches for King Farouk of Egypt, who inherited his love of great timepieces from his father, King Fahd. The watch in question took over five years to complete, combining 14 complications and a total of 820 parts, 55 of which were stunning jewel bearings. A watch fit for a king, indeed. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.